good morning welcome back to Costa Texpina um, of course not doing any builds uh, any longer um, what we are doing is maintenance work and um, just updates around the house um, today is going to be one of those maintenance days we have um, representatives or a maintenance crew coming in today from uh, Manila uh, where the uh, water uh, the company is that uh, installed our um, solar hot water heater up here uh, they're going to come back in today and do the annual maintenance on it um, we'll find out what all's entailed in that uh, when they get here and I'll talk to the uh, their lead guy and see if I can uh, get some information about what all they do on it besides uh, just clean it up so uh, let's take a look and see what happens with that and let's get started take a look around the house real quick um, before the guys from Solanda get here so just to give you a little view around see what the houses look like now <laughs> then I'm probably gonna go I'm thinking about going around and showing you what the uh, rest of the subdivision looks like uh, we do have a couple more uh, homes that have begun construction here recently and are in pretty good shape to be able to show you, at least from above, <coughs> some of the, uh, the new progress going on around the subdivision. That's Mr. Dennis, our uh, gardener, uh, helping us out with uh, watering and weeding and uh, taking care of this uh, fairly large yard. out of practice here. Here's the uh, back of the house. You can see the sunscreens that we've put on uh, by the water filtration system. We get up in front of Mr. Neighbor here. <coughs> we're not looking at his house, we're looking at ours. <coughs> Grass is uh, starting to turn green again nicely. Uh, we are starting to get a few uh, evening showers. Uh, we had one the other night that was quite the gully washer. Uh, <clears throat> no backups in the uh, in the uh, gutters. In the hidden gutter system is working fantastic. Um, here is the solar hot water heater that we are going to get cleaned today. <clears throat> uh, let's go ahead and come in a little bit and take a look at this. two <clears throat> panels on the bottom um, and what happens with these the panel on the bottom has copper tubing running through it and that's what heats up the water and it goes back into the storage tank at the top this is a 302 liter version of the uh, solar heart solar hot water heater um, it does have an electrical backup <clears throat> so that if we have several days in a row with uh, no sun or it's very overcast uh, we can turn on the uh, electric anode on the inside of it <clears throat> and it'll heat the water up. Um, but most of the time we have the uh, electric turned off and the uh, sun gives us the free hot water that we need for around the house and it does get very hot. Um, I think we've currently got it set at 60 centigrade, uh, which if I remember right converts to about 140 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. So that's what the uh, guys will be coming to take a look at today and do a little maintenance work. Okay. Get rid of that incessant beeping. And let's go ahead and finish looking around the rest of the, the building. <clears throat> so again, uh, the gutters have remained clear. We don't have any large uh, mango trees exactly near the house. Um, so nothing to worry about as far as, um, as far as a lot of leaves getting deposited inside the gutters. Uh, so 
we've been keeping an eye on that. Uh, last time I did look was honestly about six months ago, <clears throat> but it, if you can look, just uh, let's take a look here as we go forward. I'll take a look at some of the gutters as we fly over. Let me zoom up a little bit. There we go. You can see the gutters look still fairly clean. There is some deposit there, but most of that is uh, just minor dirt and stuff, air pollutants that have fallen off of the, um, out of the rain. Yes, all systems are go for today. Um, <clears throat> everything looks good. Like I said, no, uh, no large debris inside the, the gutter system, so that's working fantastic. <clears throat> Okay, let's go take a look around the subdivision. Let's head up to the uh, main gate. Then we'll turn around and go up through the main road, take a look at some of the other houses that are here. I do have a no-fly zone that hits right here as soon as I get up to the main gate. So I can't get exactly over the main gate, but I can get uh, just parallel to it. Let me pan down here real quick and show you. Turn left. That's the little guard house with the guard with the guards in it. Uh, doing a good job of keeping the uh, right people in, the wrong people out. Coming through this section, we've got the house right here in the center section. These two homes have uh, just finished being completed within the last couple months. Um, and another new construction uh, immediately up here on the left. And again, on the right side of the road as well. Uh, so lots of new activity going on throughout the subdivision. Um, lots of folks, new folks kept moving in. We'll go ahead and continue down the road. Uh, this house here on the left side of the road, uh, covering two corners, uh, is still currently under construction. They've got the most of the exterior work done. They're still working on putting in windows and doors. Continue on past the clubhouse and sports complex. The building here on the the new house here on the right side um, you'll see the small black car right in front of it uh, that one is still under construction as well doing finishing work on the inside head on back to the back of the subdivision i do believe that is the rest of the construction along the main drag uh, we'll take a, a right hand turn here momentarily There we go, right hand turn. Um, center screen, the house there on the corner, um, same thing, has just about finished exterior construction. Uh, still doing minor finish work on the inside. Um, I'm gonna come over here and take a better look at it from the front. You see some of the newer houses going in this subdivision are of the uh, modern flavor uh, design. Uh, so they've got the uh, the flat roofs as opposed to the pitch roofs that you see next to it. Uh, just different flavors of buildings. All right, battery's starting to get low. We're going to go ahead and head back towards the house. Um, you also see, as I get headed this direction, um, See one house one here with panels, house two with panels. Uh, the house on your immediate left is also under construction, as you can see, with all the scaffolding nearby. So 
Yes, we do have lots of uh, ongoing construction in the subdivision. Uh, still some lots for sale, um, but most of the, uh, the area has been turned over to the homeowners association. So uh, get in, come take a look. Okay. All right, so the guys showed up uh, from Solanda. Uh, as you can see from the, the truck, they came from Intramuros, uh, in, almost in the heart of Manila. Um, they're getting ready to put the ladder up. Uh, they're gonna go up and start working on the top. Um, the, today's only an annual maintenance, uh, so the things they're checking for, uh, one, they're gonna clean the panels off, because uh, a dirty so solar panel doesn't create as much uh, electrical uh, connection so it doesn't uh, heat up the water properly uh, the other thing they're going to check if you can notice um, I'll get a better picture later on the drone uh, the copper tubing that runs from the uh, the storage tank down to the bottom of the panel is uh, slightly corroded and showing uh, some scaling on it uh, so they're going to scrub that off and then uh, also check the filter screen on the inside and the electrical uh, the, the electrode on the inside that uh, heats up the water as a backup. It does have an electrical backup. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, that we only use that when uh, it's severely overcast or um, a lot of rain, uh, you know, that sort of thing for a couple days in a row. Uh, most of the time it's off, but they still need to check anyway. Okay, so I'm gonna switch over to the drone, show you guys some of, from what's going on from up there. These are the two head guys from uh, on our team. Uh, Mr. Rex is the one closest to you. Uh, what they're doing here is checking, they've turned off the water. Uh, they've checked the electrode on the inside already. And what they're doing at this moment is checking the uh, screen on the inside of the pipes, uh, the, the supply lines. Uh, that's a, again, a secondary measure so that uh, if something is large particles that get through our water filtration system, which it never should, uh, it has another screen here to be able to filter it before it gets into the system.
Okay, kind of hard to see from way down here, but they've already checked the screen up on the top. That's what I showed you guys on the, uh, the drone footage. Now they're using some of the water that was inside of the, the actual storage tank here, and they're using that to clean off the, uh, the, the panels, as well as they're gonna scrub this uh, copper tubing that comes down the side here, uh, get some of, the, some of the scaling off of it, which is natural for um, hard water. Uh, also, the, the scaling you see on the outside of the pipe is also a little bit of uh, corrosion. You know, naturally, uh, copper does cor corrode a little bit in um, open oxygen environments. So it'll turn from that nice, bright, shiny, uh, obviously copper penny color that you usually see uh, to this gray-black uh, thing that you see up here. All right, and with that, they're uh, pretty much done. Uh, so they're going to head their way back down. I'll take one of them on the inside and we'll uh, push back up uh, some of the roofing uh, material that got uh, bent in as they walked up and down. Um, being our uh, sea purlins that run underneath this roofing are only every 60 centimeters apart. It does make it a little bit more uh, difficult when people try to walk on it. Um, uh, just a frame of reference for you guys or a uh, an FYI for something to, to do when you're putting your roofing on. Um, I would suggest going with a 40 centimeter gap uh, for your sea purlins on your roofing. Um, I will add that to the lessons learned and mention that uh, for during construction as well. Um, it's only a minor, a very minor increase. Um, at the time it was out of budget for us. Uh, so we went ahead with the 60 because that was all that the uh, uh, long span metal roofing actually required. Um, 2020 hindsight, of course, uh, we should have went with the 40 centimeter gapping, uh, which would have allowed us to do either the long span metal roofing or the uh, stone co uh, the stone coated metal roofing that you've seen on uh, a few of the other house builds uh, on YouTube. Um, so, uh, all right. So, let me jump back around to the front side of this camera. Okay, so that pretty much does it for today. Um, they uh, came out here, did the, uh, the maintenance on the, the water heater. Um, it's good to go for another year. Um, so I'll get a back feed from them as, or feedback from them as far as uh, what the maintenance looks like, how, how the, the electrode looks like on the inside. And then um, we're good for another year. So if y'all like today's video, please give us a big thumbs up. If you like to uh, want to see more of these videos, hit the Casa Texpina star right over here and you'll be subscribed. Hit the bell icon just below the view screen and you'll be notified of our next video upload for your viewing pleasure. So until we see you again, have a great afternoon and God bless.